Does Brat's magic hair work? And what's the deal with doll laundry? All will be answered by the end of this video. Hey Moody Brats, it's Michaela. Welcome back to my world of 1 6 scale miniatures and Bratz doll collecting. Collecting dolls and toys is for all ages. So if you're thinking about doing it, do it. Very special thank you to at Hot Cheeto Puff with three Fs 15 on TikTok for sending me magic hair Yasmin and at Screws Toys S C R O O Z E Toys for giving me magic hair Sasha. Oh my gosh, she has one of the most beautiful faces I have ever seen on a Bratz doll. Screws Toys is a toy dealer, by the way. They do live auction sales on Instagram every Thursday. They're on eBay. They do flea markets like Pasadena City College flea. Long Beach Flea, Instagram stories, conventions, shows. You can find them everywhere. If you want to start collecting vintage toys, action figures, comic books, that is a good place to start looking. If you're looking for something specific too, just send him a little DM. He probably has what you're looking for. I know he has one of the Lady Gaga Monster High dolls and some Living Dead dolls. Hot Cheeto Puff 15, I don't know anything about actually. She just showed up at one of my live streams and offered to send me the doll and I am eternally grateful. So if you're watching this, Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. If you wanna send me a doll or a miniature or anything, you can DM me on Instagram. My name is also the Moody Brats on Instagram. Or if you wanna make a donation to help me get the upcoming celebrity and designer Bratz collabs that are coming out this year, I set up a buy me a coffee. So there's a link below if you wanna donate on there. No pressure, but I so appreciate the support if you do want to. Okay, that's enough. Let's get into these dolls. Here is them when they first came into my possession they're very beautiful yasmin did not come with any of her original clothing sasha came with about half her box all the styling tools but she is definitely dirty yasmin not so dirty but i am gonna give her a wash just because i like to wash all the dolls i get I think Sasha was in a shed or something. I'm honestly not entirely sure. All I know is that Screws saw her and knew the Moody Brat needed her. And now she's honestly one of my top favorites. The description from brats.fandom.com reads, Girls can use their creativity to create hot new hair looks for their Bratz dolls and themselves. Special Bratz memory hair allows owners to crimp it, curl it, color it, and glitter it. The dolls come with accessories and the color and glitter can be used on real hair as well. Yeah, we're just gonna see if that curl and crimp function works. First Obvi, we're gonna free Sasha from this packaging that she's been trapped in since 2007. She's off the package, her hair feels very gross very dirty loving the two tones of the hair though she has some major discoloration on her chest you can see that line right there you'll see it better once we get her into the sink she's so beautiful i'm really hoping we'll be able to clean these lips up i am hoping with everything in me that it is just dirt on there and it is not a lip chip here's a little before of them you can see their hair is not very flowy because it is dirty especially sasha like hers won't even move at all oh my god don't worry girl though we're gonna revive you now we are in the bathroom and we're gonna get into the doll laundry i like to use a bucket from the dollar store or a big tub to do the doll laundry i like using wool light as a detergent because it's gentle but another gentle detergent would be fine i also like using half a color catcher sheet you only need to use like half a sheet because this is not a lot of clothes in comparison to laundry for people and this can keep the colors from blending together i'm just like paranoid about it you don't have to do this but i like to i'm not gonna use very much detergent just a little like that's probably more than enough i'm gonna use cold water because cold water is oh! definitely just turn my shower on by mistake i'm gonna mix it with cold water slosh it around and let it soak for 30 minutes you can already see the water getting gross. This is why I like to do this. And I do this with all the soft things I get. Pillows, hats, bags, even the leathery material. I just keep a closer eye on those. It's been 30 minutes on the laundry, so it's time to rinse it. 
I am going to rinse it with cold water until the water runs clear and then squeeze all the liquid out of each piece of clothing and lay it out to dry. I'm going to attempt to dry brush these ladies first because I don't know, it's less damaging to hair when you brush it when it's dry, right? Sasha's definitely is very dirty, like it feels gross to touch. I want them to get as little damage done to them as possible in my care, so we're gonna dry brush them. I've cleared out the parts and I'm trying to keep the sides of hair separate because I don't wanna have to rethatch the part. That's what it's called, it has a special name. And then we are going to wash them with some soap. I like to use Dawn because because I really do find that it goes further. I'm giving them a good lather and then I'm also combing the soap through the hair just to make sure it gets in there. Now I'll be scrubbing them down with baking soda and a soft bristle toothbrush. This is my crusty little baking soda dish that I use again and again for brats. I also brought in a little dish for water. When you combine the baking soda and the water, it makes like a paste basically. Then I'm giving them another lather and a very thorough rinse to make sure all the soap's out. It is the next day, so their hair has dried. This is just from the cleaning. We are readying the boil wash. Unfortunately, Miss Sasha does have a lip chip and does have some kind of gnarly discoloration on her torso due to the way that she was stored for the last 20 years. I did a dry brush on their hair, so it should be without any knots. I'm pouring water directly on their heads and combing it out. I'm also using a cutting board to comb their hair against a hard surface because once the hair is hot, you want to brush through it so that it will set in a nice straight style. She's looking so good. I can't wait to see this dry. Like the way the hot water just straightens the hair right out. They have what's called memory hair, which is a special hair type. So it's supposed to be able to be easily like crimped and curled with these little tools that it comes with. And so since we did get Sasha with like half of her packaging, we are definitely going to try out the gimmick at the end. I'm so excited to see Sasha transform. It doesn't look bad now, but it's about to look better. The water I'm using was boiling and then I turned it off, let the boil stop, and then poured it on their heads. I let them air dry next to the Moa Lola brats. I did clean them up at the same time. If you hadn't seen their unboxing video, it is on my page. Go check it out. These girls have the longest hair I have ever seen on a brat doll. Now I'm just combing it out. This is one of the most satisfying parts of cleaning up a doll, just brushing through that buttery, smooth, clean hair. How beautiful is this red in Yasmin's hair? Like, what? By the way, the custom screws Bratz t-shirts are made by at OMG you brat on Instagram. I don't have the original outfits for both of these dolls, so I put them in these outfits instead because I like restyling my dolls anyway. That's part of the fun of fashion dolls. For me, anyway. These girls look so cool. I literally just want to be friends with them. That's how I feel about all the brats in my collection. Honestly, they're so pretty. The gimmick with the magic hair brats is that, gosh, how does the commercial go? Brats magic hair, step one, crimp it. Uh, glitter. I know it's five in one. One of them is glitter. The glitter tube is definitely looking crusty, so we are not going to be testing out the glitter. Another one is color, and I will not be testing out the color either because one of them is very much uh, exploded and dried out. The other one seems to still be intact, but I don't want to ruin these girls' hair. I don't know. Magic hair is one of these gimmick special type hairs. It's a little different than other hair types. I'm not an expert on hair types. If you want a good video on doll hair types, a thousand splendid dolls has a really good video on that. Here's a close-up of the tools. This I believe is for the color, then the hairbrush, the crimper tool. The crimper tool is honestly kind of intimidating. That's not gonna stop me from trying it though. I want to see these girls with some crimped hair. Then here's the little curling iron. It's absolutely adorable. This doll is all about hair play. Okay, we're gonna try a little curl. I don't know how long you're supposed to leave it for. I don't have the instructions and I did not look them up. You always want to try to preserve the curls when you take it down, right? Oh, okay. Okay, bouncy. Eh. 
It's not that great, honestly. Let's try the crimper. I've never used a crimper before. I know this is gonna give Hannah Montana. Okay, <laughs> you really like clamp it down on there. I don't know, I'm just gonna hold it there for like a few seconds. Okay, okay. All right, let me crimp the rest of the strand. Oh my gosh, I feel like I, I, I'm like playing it with like as if it, I'm using heat, like. You gotta hold it on there and wait for the curl to set. Crimped hair really just makes me think of the GNO girls. It's like, it's kind of staying. Kind of. I just like, now I'm getting impatient. What do we think? It looks good uh, on your camera, huh? The lighting's pretty good right now. Let's do Sasha. We'll start with the curl for her as well because I feel like it's gonna be anticlimactic again. In the commercial though, their curl is like bouncy. Maybe you have to just do like a really small piece of hair. Do like the tiniest piece of hair ever. I feel like I did a pretty small piece of hair on the last one, but little tiny piece of hair. Let's give it a try. I'm trying to get it like tightly wrapped, you know? Oh my gosh. This might work actually better. This is so funny. It really, it really feels like curling your own hair the way this curling iron looks. I definitely have a curling iron that looks exactly like this. Yeah. Okay. No, it, it didn't. It didn't really do any better. Okay. Well, that's that. I guess. Let's do the crimp. And I accidentally didn't record it, but you can see that the curl has completely disappeared. Didn't last at all. You can see the crimps a little bit, but they just don't. They're not really giving. But hey, you know she has a gorgeous face. She may have a lip chip going on, and perhaps one day I'll do something about that. But that day's not today. Regardless, she still is so freaking beautiful. They both are. I absolutely love them. They are so pretty. The hair is unreal. I'm so happy to have them in my collection. The magic hair gimmick is not really all that, but I like their long hair straight anyway, so I'm not mad about it. I'm just... So grateful to have them. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, turn on the notifications bell. I put out new videos every Wednesday, but if you can't wait for that, I do Instagram stories daily and TikTok videos almost every day. It's the same name there, The Moody Brats. It's all in the description below. Soon, I'm gonna do a DIY pride float for one sixth scale dolls. I'm also gonna unbox the Jimmy Paul pride two pack of brats. <laughs> I'm still working on making the apartment crafts and the easy hairstyles tutorial also, so you don't wanna miss any of that. And if there's something else you wanna see in a YouTube video, please comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.